Welcome to Clear Tax. Relax and watch this video till the end to learn how to easily get the refunds in your bank account through WhatsApp. With Clear Tax, your data will be 100% secure as we are the license holders of the income tax department and more than 60 lakh Indians have trusted us and used our platform. Please be assured that your income or any details will not be shared with anyone. It is safe to share income related OTPs here as these are shared directly with the government and there is no human involvement. We request you to input all the details honestly, correctly and to the best of your knowledge. If you give any wrong details, it will be very difficult to get the refunds and your tax return submission will be incorrect. Now another few important points we want you to note is that please be very patient during the whole process. After you send one message, kindly wait for 2-3 minutes and do not send any messages in between. Sometimes OTP might take some time, let's say 5-6 to six minutes to come to your phone and email. Just be patient and trust the process. So before we start, please make sure you have the following things ready with you. Your PAN card, your Aadhaar card, your email ID and your bank account details for an easy and swift refund. So friends, now let's understand how to claim your tax refunds from your phone easily. Firstly, start by selecting your preferred language. Instantly, you'll be greeted with a welcome message guiding you through an easy refund process. Then, a few details will be asked to you. Please follow all the instructions and share the details of whatever is required for the process. You might be asked to enter your PAN number. You have the option to click a photo of your PAN card and upload it or you can directly write that in the chat box. Now once a detail is saved successfully, the next detail will be asked to you. For example, you may be asked for your date of birth in the date, month or year format. Please input that. Now please make sure the date of birth matches with the date of birth in your PAN card. Kindly wait patiently for the next message and don't write anything in the chat box unless it's asked to you. Now you may be asked to enter your Aadhaar card next and your address as well. So you can simply see that details on your Aadhaar card and write it in the chat box. The next step is to share your email ID so that all the necessary updates about this income tax filing can be sent to you. To know your email ID, you can simply search for the Gmail app on your phone and click on this icon. Here you can see your email ID. You have another option. You can either write this email ID in the chat box or you can also take a screenshot of this image and upload this image directly on WhatsApp. You will also receive an email from ClearTax with an OTP inside it. Now this email will be sent to you in your Gmail app. In case you don't receive this email, kindly go to this three dot and check this spam folder for the email from ClearTax. Now simply copy this OTP and enter this in the chat box and please wait for some time. After this, you can get around one to three more OTPs which will be sent by the tax department to your registered mobile number and email ID. Now as and when OTPs are asked to you, please enter them one by one and wait for some time at each step. Please note that sometimes it can take up to 5 to 7 minutes as well for one OTP to come. Please be very patient during this time. Now, after you have entered all the OTPs, you will be able to see a tax summary like this, which will highlight your earnings and most importantly, any tax refunds you are eligible for. This tax refund is the amount that will be refunded to you directly in your bank account by the tax department in some days. Now, in case your bank details are not updated, you need to share your bank details like your bank account name, account number and IFSC code. You can find these details easily on your passbook or your checkbook as well. This information is mandatory to ensure that the refunds are sent directly to your bank account. Please be assured that all your details are 100% secure. So if you want to change any other information like your PIN code, you can simply type change my PIN code to this and it will be changed by us. Now once you have updated all the changes, you will see an updated text summary. After this, simply click on the do e-file now button if you are ready for the text submission process. The next step is to complete the payment by clicking on the payment link. You will get redirected and one OTP will come to your email. Please enter the OTP to the screen and proceed to payment. After completing the payment, kindly return back to WhatsApp. Please be patient and do not remove the WhatsApp app from the background during this process. 
you will also receive a message about your successful payment confirmation now in case you don't get this message please write next step in the chat box now once you have got that click on the paid e file now button once you have clicked this button simply wait patiently for the process to complete and you will receive an acknowledgement number which is like a receipt confirming your tax submission you will also receive the filing details on your registered email id as well but please note that your tax filing is not yet complete another step is to complete the tax verification now simply click on this tax verification button and kindly enter the otp which will be sent to your registered mobile number to complete your e verification process if you are filing income tax returns for the first time you will need to do a bank validation process which is required by the government to initiate the refund amount in your bank account you will receive a separate video to follow this process and complete it kindly click on this link to understand how to do bank validation easily in few minutes congratulations friends your income tax return filing is now finally complete and you can expect any refunds to be deposited in your bank account within 30 to 50 working days now here are a few things you need to keep in mind while completing your itr filing process please do not write statements one after the other with partial or incomplete information so write one message in the same line and send it for example if you want to write my name is manju write it like this instead of writing it in separate sentences secondly don't panic in case you get any error just follow the next steps and follow the instructions as shown on the screen and third don't be in a hurry please be very patient during this entire process so friends that's how easy it is to get your refunds directly in your bank account through whatsapp so what are you waiting for let's start this process to get your refunds now